Capture, recapture. I catch five fish and harmlessly tag their fins. I then put these fish back in the pond. Later, I catch 10 fish and find that two of these are tagged. So out of the 10 fish that are caught the second time round, two of those happen to be tagged. Estimate the number of fish in the pond. And I'm gonna represent that estimate as N. That's the uh, total number of fish in the pond. So the calculation now is, to begin with, first time round, I caught five fish out of, well, I don't know how many fish there are in the pond. So five out of so many fish in the pond. That's the first time. Remember, these five are tagged. Later, I caught 10 fish, and then two of those, two out of 10, have to be tagged. Notice I've put the tagged numbers on the numerator. Now I'm gonna make these equivalent fractions. Now some of you might think straight away, well, yeah, that's going to be 25. 5 over 25 is the same as 2 tenths. But let me show you the working out to get the value of n. Now, I don't like having the unknown in the bottom. I prefer it at the top. So I'm going to solve this equation. It is an equation because it's got the equal symbol. To find the value of n, right, first of all, I'm going to times by n because I don't like having the n at the bottom. Times by n, what I do on this side, do on the other side. So that divide by n is cancelled out by times by n. So you're just left with five. Well, let's have a look. Let's deal with this bit first. Two divided by 10, two divided by 10 is 0 0.2. And we're multiplying by n. So we've just multiplied by this 0 0.2. Remember this is 0 0.2. We multiply 0 0.2 by n. That's what we get. 0 0.2 times something to give me five. Now to get rid of 0 0.2 times by 0 0.2, you need to divide by 0 0.2. Do the same on the other side. 5 divided by 0 0.2 is 25. And then 0 0.2 is cancelled out by 0 0.2 over here. You're left with n. So the estimate for the number of fish in our pond is 25. We're making the assumption that no fish will die between the first time we caught it and the second time. So I found n is 25. If I put 25 in there, just to show you, that's 5 over 25, which you just found. And that's equivalent to 2 tenths. These are equivalent fractions.